All right, hello and welcome to PSN's NBA postseason preview. I'm Alex Hirschberg. I'm Marcus Hayes. And I'm Brian Batko. We're going to start right off with the 1 8 matchup in the East Bulls Pacers. Marcus, what do you see happening? Um, in the 1 8 matchup uh, with the Bulls and the Pacers, um, I do not see the the Pacers even coming close to win this series. Sure, they might put up a fight, win a game, but with the, the deep balls, with the likes of um, um, Derek Rose, Joaquin Noah, um, I, I, don't see, I don't see the Pacers winning this at all. Yeah, I think the Bulls are going to sweep them. I feel like the Pacers are a team that they can maybe have some sustained success over the course of a regular season, but I think the Bulls are just going to turn it on in the playoffs and thrash Indiana out of the building in pretty much every game. You know, there's there's a top four in the East, and, and I just see the East being chalk. I mean, it's so hard, at least in the first round, it's so hard for those bottom four teams to win because the top four teams yeah. have been so dominant over the, over the season. Um, you have the team with at least that's tied for the best record in the NBA uh, against a team that fired their coach midseason and mm -hmm. had a nice run to make the postseason. Right. So... Uh, Maybe the Pacers will scrap together a game. You've got that, that personality with, with Tyler Hansborough and, and the Roy Hibberts of the world. But just, I don't see them winning. They, the Bulls are too dominant, especially this season. Bulls in maybe five games. All right, we're going to move on next to the, we're going to move on next to the Heat 76ers game, the 2-7 in the East. Uh, Marcus, what do you see happening? Well, being from Philly... I would like for the Sixers to win because I cannot remember the last time we have won a playoff series. All, all back in the, the AI days. But I do not see the Sixers winning this series at all. Um, the Heat with their big three, LeBron, uh, Dwayne Wade, uh, Chris Bosh, um, and the other stars that they um, put together over the course of the season, I don't see the Sixers winning this. Plus, if you include the fact that they got swept by the Heat in all their games, it it just uh, drastically decreases their chances. Yeah, the Sixers might like in all the previous years against the Magic and the Pistons uh, uh, put together two games, um, uh, get everyone's hopes up that they might win the series, but in the end, um, they're going to be overpowered by the Heat. And the Heat will win in at most, at most uh, six games. Yeah, I don't really think there's a whole lot to say about this series. I don't think the 76ers have much of a chance of winning. Some people have doubts about the Heat's ability to go all the way this year in the playoffs. Nobody's doubting that they're going to beat Philadelphia in round one. I think it's either a four or five game possible sweep for the Heat in this one. I agree with everything you just said up to the point of the games. Um, I love the personality of Doug Collins, the 76ers head coach. Um, I don't think they win, but I think they put up a fight with the Heat. They've got that sort of scrappy ability. They, they're just like the Pacers. The 76ers made a nice run midseason. Um, you, you can see them given a game or two, but the, the Heat are going to win. I can have, see the Heat the coasting, talent. too, for a couple games. Yeah. yeah so, all right. All right. Moving on to the Nets matchup. The 3-6 uh, the in the East, the Celtics against the Knicks. Marcus, what do you think? I find this to be a pretty interesting matchup. Um, the Celtics, in their last 20 games, was it 20 games? Yeah, or they, after the All-Star break. Yeah, they pretty much fell apart for the most part. Uh, team chemistry is not really there, and... And with the Knicks, the um, the mellow trade at first didn't seem to be going well, but I believe that the Knicks have um, uh, uh, picked it up so far. I see that the Celtics might win this series, but it it, it will be a seven game series. I think it'll go seven. Yeah. How about you, Brian? You agree? Not quite. I think the Knicks will steal a game or two, probably at home at Madison Square Garden. The Garden's going to be rocking for this playoff series. They really want playoff basketball there, and now they have it. And you're right, Marcus, the Celtics have collapsed a little bit. I think they really lost a lot of that kind of hard-nosed mentality that they were built around when they traded Kendrick Perkins to the Thunder. 
Um, but I still don't think the Celtics are going to lose in round one. The Knicks are all right, but they're still missing a lot of pieces to being a successful team. So I think Boston will get it done in five or six games. I think this is a straight sweep for Boston. Um, I'm a Knicks fan, and I hate the Celtics, and I hate to say it, but the Celtics are the most complete team, at least on paper, in the East. Um, they have everything for you. They did trade away Kendrick Perkins, which is uh, a reason that people think that Rajon Rondo has struggled over the last few games, Could be. which is another reason why people think that they have struggled. Um, personally, they did the same thing last year over this stretch, a similar, a similar stretch True. in win-loss, and they got to the NBA Finals. The postseason is a new, it's a new season. It, it is, and and that's what they proved last year. Um, I mean, they swept the Knicks this year. They played them six times. They beat them six times. Mm -hmm. Not to say that they it weren't scrappy games, hard fought games. They were, but the Celtics beat them every time. I go Celtics in four. The sweep. All right, the four or five matchup in the East: the Hawks and the Magic. A rematch of last year. The Magic. Just swept the floor with the Hawks. Uh, what do you think, Marcus? Same same result? Um, similar result will probably occur. Uh, Hawks might win the game, um, might win two, but I think that the Magic, um, pretty much the same team they were last year, uh, they, they will go and um, destroy the Hawks in the majority of their games. Yeah, I think the Magic are, are going to win this one. The Hawks are flying a little bit under the radar, and I think they should have some motivation that they don't want a repeat of last year's series where, like you guys said, the Hawks really just got embarrassed uh, by Orlando. But I do think the Magic are going to win. I don't think Atlanta has much of an answer for Dwight Howard inside. Uh, and if he really gives it his all every night, he's pretty unstoppable. So uh, I'll take the Magic in five or six games. You know, I think this is the most intriguing series in the East. Um, the Hawks are a very good team on paper, and the Magic are, I mean, the Magic have Dwight Howard, yeah. which is exactly what you need in the postseason. You need a post presence. Um, my biggest problem with what they did this season was trading Marcin Gortat. Um, you get Dwight Howard, who gets in foul trouble. He does. And who do you go to? That might be the key for them this postseason. You know, they've got no backup center. Um, I think it's Tony Batie or something like that. Uh, you know, Someone not very good. Someone not very good. Um, so I could see the Hawks winning the series. I don't think they're going to, though. Uh, but this is going to go at least six games. And I say Magic in six or seven. All right? 